Welcome everyone. The topic we are going to discuss today is email writing. Email stands for electronic mail. An email is the method of composing, sending, storing and receiving messages over electronic communication system. A message or document sent or received using this system is called email. Let's see the format of email. First, you need to enter the email address of the recipient in the to field. You can enter multiple email addresses also. Then we have CC. CC stands for carbon copy. Anyone listed here will get a copy of the message and anyone who receives the message will know who else the message was sent to. After it we have BCC. BCC stands for blind carbon copy. Addresses that you put in this field are hidden from other people who receive the message. After it we have subject. It is the reason of writing the email in a few words or a brief summary of the content of the mail. After subject we have salutation. After salutation we have body of the email which is further divided into three parts introduction matter in detail and closing remarks after the body of the email we have courteous leave taking and closing after that is the signature name designation and contact details of sender below that we have attachments attachments are files such as documents and pictures that you can include with your email to add an attachment look for the paper clip icon subject the subject of an email is the first thing a receiver reads in an email and according to the subject he or she decides its relevance and priority the subject should give your reader an idea of the content of the email it should be meaningful briefly outlining the email's matter it should be attention grabbing a blank subject line is more likely to be overlooked or rejected as spam so always use a few well chosen words to tell the recipient what the email is about salutation the salutation of an email is similar to the salutation of a letter. When writing to someone you do not know by name, you may put to whom it may concern or dear sir or madam. When you know the name, you can write dear mister in the last name of the person or dear miss in the last name. In semi-formal or informal mails, you can address the person by their first name. In a semi-formal mail, you can write dear and first name of the person and in informal mail, you can write hello or hi and first name of the person.
body of the email. It is important to remember that an email needs to be concise. The first sentence, known as the opening sentence, can be a greeting if the situation allows it. Like, you can write, I hope all is well with you. Thank you for your prompt response. However, for most formal emails, it is best to get straight to the point. Depending on the subject, you should have a maximum of four paragraphs and each paragraph should contain a single point. It is also important to provide questions in order to prompt a response. At the end of your last paragraph, you should provide a thank you or call to action depending on the subject of your email. Like, you can write, thank you for your assistance with or thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you. Or, I would appreciate it if this could be taken care of promptly. Closing remarks. The closing of a formal email can be the same as the closing to a formal letter. Courtesy is always important, no matter how short the email is. Before you end your email, you can write, Thank you for your patience and cooperation. Or, Thank you for your consideration. Include an accurate follow-up statement, like, I'll send you additional information. Or, I look forward to receiving your input. Or, if you have questions or concerns, do let me know. Or, I look forward to hearing from you. Or you can write, if a response is required, specify what and when. The closing. Use a professional closing like Regards, sincerely, or thank you. For more casual emails, you can write best wishes. And for more formal emails, you can write yours sincerely or yours faithfully, etc. The closing is then followed by your full name. It is also beneficial to add your job position if applicable and contact information such as phone number, address, etc. under your name. Attachments If there are any attachments, mention them in the email so that the receiver knows to look for them. Also, appropriately name the attachments so that the receiver knows what each document is about just by reading the file name. Let's see how to review the email before sending. First point is clarity. Once you have written an email, take a few seconds to read over it before pressing the send button. Read it as if you were an outsider and see how clear is it. Second, ambiguity. Check if there are any ambiguous statements that could be interpreted the wrong way. If so, 
clarify. Third point. As you review, see if you can shorten the email by removing unnecessary words or sentences or even paragraphs. Edit and proofread before you hit the send button. Review and spell check your email one more time to make sure it's truly perfect. Here are some tips on email writing. First, do not use contracted forms like don't, haven't, isn't, etc. Second, do not use all capital letters that is uppercase or all small letters that is lowercase unless referring to a known acronym or term that is familiar to the reader. Use formal vocabulary and sentence structure. Do not use slang. Fourth point. Proofread the email at least twice and get a second opinion if possible. Next point. Keep messages clear and brief. Keep your sentences short and to the point. The body of the email should be direct and informative and it should contain all pertinent information. The subject line should be attention grabbing and to the point. Always address the reader in a professional manner. Add a signature block at the end of the email to ensure the reader has details on how to contact you. Be concise. Remember that some people receive and read hundreds of emails every day. Try to keep to a maximum length of five paragraphs. If your message is very long, for example, notes about a report, consider sending it as an attachment. Use bulleted lists and keep paragraphs short. Keep these points in mind and write your emails effectively. Thank you.